In our day-to-day -day lives, batteries are used for almost everything. From phones to toothbrushes to just about any modern device, they can be found everywhere. One of the most common types is called the alkaline battery. The first alkaline battery was developed in 1899 by Waldemar Jugner, and the modern alkaline battery was developed by Louis Uri in the 1950s. So how does a battery work? We wanted to find out. In a battery, once the circuit is closed, the reaction begins. Inside the anode, zinc and hydroxide ions form zinc oxide, which stays in the anode and water molecules. The two electrons power whatever the battery was connected to, and the reaction in the cathode begins. Manganese oxide, as well as the water molecules and electrons from the previous reaction, form manganese oxyhydroxide and hydroxide ions, which travel back through the membrane. This process repeats itself until the battery is depleted. Those two equations can be expressed as one. We decided to dig a little bit into the battery that we cut in half to figure out how it was constructed. The dark material on the outside is called the cathode. The bluish material on the inside is the anode, and the, the copper rod in the center is the anode collector. The anode collector collects the electrons from the negative side of the battery and allows them to pass through whatever device the battery is powering. Thanks for watching.